good morning. Today is an exciting day for so many. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioner 2020 Investiture Ceremony. Today, Pat Kemp, Harry Cohen, and Gwen Myers will take the oath of office for the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioner. Uh, we have uh, the, um, please stand everyone for the honor guard. Please stand for the Alonzo High School JROTC color guard presenting the colors with the national anthem being performed by the Alonzo High School Choir in a pre-recorded virtual ceremony. Alonzo High School for that. Please remain standing. We're going to have the invocation and pledge by our chaplain, Commissioner Stacy White. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. I'll ask at this time that you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, I would uh, like to uh, just once again thank you for the service of uh, Commissioner Merman and Commissioner Miller. I pray, pray that you will bless them and guide them in the next chapter of their lives. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to live in a country where we can have a peaceful transfer of power. And uh, this morning, I uh, just pray that, uh, uh, that we uh, can have a wonderful welcome to Commissioners uh, Cohen and Myers, and I pray that you will guide them as members of this board and bless them. Lord, I pray that you will uh, offer your blessings and guidance to uh, Commissioner Kemp uh, in her continued service of, with four more years on this board, and just pray that uh, for this body as a whole, that we'll do good work 
um, good, uh, good bipartisan work uh, and, and promote good public policy that's in the best interest of this county. Uh, as always, Lord, I just want to um, thank you for the service of our first responders and armed forces. Pray that you will guide them and comfort them each and every day. I give all these thanks and ask for all of these blessings in your heavenly name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you all for being here on this very special day as our reelected and newly elected Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners take their oath. The first to take the oath of office today is Pat Kemp, representing District 6. I invite Patricia Kemp to her swearing-in party to come forward. Excellent. Administering the oath for Commissioner Kemp are her children, Alex Wynn and Ella Wynn. I'm going to have to be able to see them. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, oh, they're right. Oh, they're Okay, should I start? A uh, second, if you will. Thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my guests here today. And I just, uh, four years ago, during my investiture, I actually have a large family, and none of them live in this area, um, including my children who were away at school, one in New York and one in Portland, Oregon, taking exams, so they couldn't come either. Um, but I'm very happy to have, first of all, um, uh, Mark Hannessy, Andy Scaglione. I have also Randall King from the IBEW, uh, local um, eight, 915, sorry, and uh, as well as Sean McDonald um, from IBEW 915, and the operating engineers, uh, Jim Januco, and that's 847, I think, and uh, Jason Smith, IBEW uh, 815. Got, hopefully I've got those right. I'll say that's important to me because um, my father was an uh, IBW uh, business manager, Local 26, Washington, D.C., and <laughs> union blood runs through me. Um, three of my four brothers were IBW Local 26 electricians, and my oldest brother, Steve, also a Vietnam veteran, passed away in the last couple of years. He had been here, um, not for the investiture, but for uh, my <laughs> victory party four years ago. So I thank you. You all are my family here today. Um, and then I have my family that is with me virtually. Uh, my son was going to fly in from Austin, Texas, but uh, because of the spike in COVID, um, decided wisely, I think, not to do so and to appear virtually. So I have my son, Alex Wind, living in Austin, and my daughter, Ella Wind, uh, in Toronto, Canada, along with my new six-week-old, I become, became a Gigi, I call myself, <laughs> um, six weeks ago with uh, Zoya June, who I get to see, I think, right? <laughs> and I guess we'll, we'll go ahead with this now. So, should I, should I start? Yes, okay. I, Patricia Kemp, Patricia Kemp, solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution. Solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution. And government of the United States and of the state of Florida. Government of the United States and of the state of Florida. And the Hillsborough County Charter. Hillsborough County Charter that I'm duly qualified to hold office, duly qualified to hold office, under the Constitution of the state, state, and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of County Commissioner, of and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of County Commissioner, of Hillsborough County, of Hillsborough County, on which I'm now about to enter. So help me God. God.
And thank you guys. I'm seeing you up there, Ella, Alex. You did a great job. <laughs> Commissioner Kemp, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Um, the next uh, uh, new commissioner to be sworn in is Mr. Harry Cohen. Thank you. It's great seeing all of you. Thank you for coming. With that, I do invite Mr. Cohen and his swearing-in party to come forward. Mr. Cohen, please yeah. come to the microphone. <laughs> to the microphone. Yeah. To this one? Yes, please. Okay. Good morning. 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 Okay. So is this when my parents are going to come up with the Bible? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Actually, uh, those that are participating in the ceremony uh, that's going to be administered, the oath is going to be administered for Harry Cohen, is the clerk of court, Pat Frank. Um, it, will Ms. Frank come forward and your family members? Bible holders now would Bible be holders. Uh, the appropriate time to come forward. <laughs> Ms. Frank is attending uh, virtually in order to issue the oath and the family members will actually assist with holding the Bible and, okay. and, and being present. Welcome. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Am I being heard? Being heard, you may proceed. Appreciation for your asking me to administer the oath. You and I have been friends and colleagues for many years. But I, I don't think people uh, really know who you are. You know, I've, I've observed you through these years. Carrie has a keen mind. He's very quick at picking things up. He does his homework. He balances the sides before he makes decisions. He's very thoughtful. He's got a sharp sense of humor, which you all will enjoy. But he also has another side because he understands people. I wanted him to run for clerk of the court. That's no surprise to anybody. But Harry really likes serving people. He likes the constituent service. He enjoys people. And he worked in his parents' dry goods business, not as an entrepreneur, but as a worker. He went on the trucks with the men with uh, uh, yards of material on rolls uh, on their backs, and Harry was right among them. And he went into every part of Hillsborough County. He knows people better than you realize that he does. 
and he's going to be extremely good as an asset uh, to give you some insight into the personalities of people in making decisions. So I'm very proud to be able to administer this, this oath to Harry, because I think he's not only going to be a good commissioner, he's going to be a great commissioner. With that, Harry, I want you to have, is, is your mother there, Iris? The Bible. Put your hand on the Bible, your left hand on the Bible, and raise your right hand and say your name. I, Harry Cohen. I, Harry Cohen. Harry Cohen. Do solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. And the Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. And of the state of Florida. Florida. And Hillsborough County Charter. The Hillsborough County Charter. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. office under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully perform the duties. And that I will well and faithfully perform the duties. Of County Commissioner of Hillsborough County. Of County Commissioner of Hillsborough County. Of which I am now about to enter. Of which I am now about to enter. So help me God. Help me God. Congratulations, Harry. You are now duly a county commissioner. Congratulations, Commissioner Cohen. Please. Thank you. Um, as obviously, you want to say thank you for everyone, but yes. come on, come on up, up and there. take right. your seat at the dais. That's exciting. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much. Um, the next to take a, uh, off it, the oath of office is Gwen Myers, representing District 3. Would Ms. Myers and her swearing party please prepare yourself once Commissioner Cohen's family exits. Just a moment as Ms. Glad Myers family and support comes in. Administering the oath today for the office for Gwen Myers is retired Florida Supreme Court Justice Peggy Quince. It's great to see her today. Thank you. 
He and my mother holding it together. They pulled this down just a little bit. And then you can hear it, you can hear it through the okay. Oh, do you want me to just go in and start? Yes. Ready? Okay. Justice Glintz, when you're ready. All right. Gwen, if you would place your right hand raise your right hand and put your left hand on the Bible. And repeat after me. I, and state your name. I, Gwendolyn W. Myers. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and government. The Constitution and government. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida and the Hillsborough County Charter. And the Hillsborough County Charter. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will and faithfully serve. And I will well and faithfully serve. On the duties of county commissioner. Of the duties of county commissioner. Of Hillsborough County. Of Hillsborough County. In which I am now about to enter. In which I am now about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. My Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations, Commissioner Myers. I've been waiting to say that for a little while. That's so exciting. Very, very, very great. Um, as, as your family and friends uh, exit, once you're comfortable, you may join us at the dais. This, today is an exciting day. We have a full board. Um, I'm going to wait until Commissioner Smith rejoins us before we proceed. You'll just wait just one moment, please.
Excellent, excellent. Well, today's an exciting day. And welcome to the new commissioners. And thank you so much for um, Ms. Kemp for your success. And I congratulate all of you. With that, I'd like to ask each of the commissioners in order of the districts to comment. Commissioner Hagan, representing District 2, um, you're uh, asked to provide your remarks for our re-elected and newly elected commissioners. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, today's uh, ceremony was a little different than ones in the past. However, as Commissioner Overman said, today is an exciting day well, when we celebrate a new board and look forward to addressing the important issues and challenges that we will encounter over the next several months and years. Uh, during my 18 years on this board, I've seen many ups and downs, uh, but I can say that I am truly excited about this board uh, and the opportunities that lie ahead. As we touched on yesterday during uh, Commissioner Miller's recognition ceremony, uh, local government uh, should not be about partisanship. It's about doing what's best uh, for the residents of Hillsborough County. And I pledge to continue to work with each and every board member uh, in an effort to improve the quality of life for everyone in our county. I want to congratulate and welcome our new board members, uh, Commissioner Cohen, Commissioner Myers. Um, you ran outstanding campaigns. Your hard work um, paid dividends. Uh, you both bring a wealth of knowledge to this board. Uh, Commissioner Myers is a longtime county employee. You understand the workings of county government and how to implement good ideas into policy. I know you have a clear set of goals and priorities and are ready to hit the ground running. Uh, District 3 is in good hands. Uh, Commissioner Cohen, uh, this board will certainly benefit from your experience as a city councilman and your time working uh, in the clerk's office. I've served with you on the MPO and I've always respected and admired your acumen and level-headedness. Uh, knowing your attention to detail, uh, something tells me that you're going to be the policy wonk on this board. Uh, I am confident you will be excellent commissioners and will represent your constituents well and I look forward to serving with both of you. Uh, Commissioner Kemp, congratulations on your re-election. Uh, this board will continue to benefit from your knowledge and passion uh, for transit, uh, the environment, and affordable housing uh, in addition to your other priorities. Uh, thanks to the leadership of this board and the county administrator and her team, the county has established a strong uh, financial foundation and is in good position to move forward uh, for years to come. That being said, by no means are we, out of, are we out of the woods. We face enormous challenges, particularly with respect uh, to the pandemic's impact on our community and with the explosive growth that is expected to occur over the next 10 years. That will force us to continue uh, to improve efficiencies in our organizational performance while maintaining the highest levels of customer service. Uh, in recent years, uh, this board has worked hard on job creation and expanding our economy. However, not everyone has benefited from the economic recovery. And thanks to the pandemic, uh, too many Hillsborough County residents are struggling and unable to make ends meet. Uh, this is simply unacceptable. Uh, the good news is this, this board heard a very detailed briefing yesterday from our staff on several areas where we can provide assistance to those in need. Uh, I look forward to working with this board and with staff to develop clear uh, plans to help our residents who need assistance. Uh, transportation is the number one issue affecting our region. If we are serious about improving mobility uh, for our residents and being a world-class community that actively competes with others across the country, we must understand the reality of our choices and be prepared to make informed and responsible decisions regarding our short and long-term transportation planning. Our community deserves it, and more importantly, we owe it to our children and grandchildren. Uh, I know this board is ready uh, to tackle this challenge head on and to proactively address our community's needs. Uh, again, congratulations to Commissioners Kemp, uh, Myers, and Cohen. I look forward to uh, working with all of you. Thank you, Commissioner Hagan. And next to offer remarks is Commissioner White. Commissioner White, Stacy White, actually represents County District 4. And um, you're recognized, sir. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Uh, Commissioner uh, Cohen, as Commissioner Hagan said, you're held in high regard for your intellect and knack 
for promoting good public policy. I welcome you to the board and very much look forward to working with you on various policy initiatives. Commissioner Myers, uh, I haven't gotten a chance to know you real well yet, but I want you to know that um, I have a track record of working in a bipartisan manner on uh, good public policy initiatives. Uh, I know you're going to be a hardworking commissioner. Uh, your experience in county government will serve you well, and I look forward to serving with you. Uh, commissioner Kemp, um, we have worked on some great bipartisan efforts together. Uh, I look forward to continuing to work with you, and I want to congratulate you on your reelection and wish you well in the upcoming four years. Thank you, Commissioner White. And next is Commissioner Mary Ella Smith, representing County District 5, will offer your remarks. Thank you. Um, I am very excited to see this new board getting invested and seated, seated today. I am optimistic about all the good work we will um, be able to do together. We have uh, challenges in front of us, but I know we will be working well together on all of that. I'm happy to see Commissioner Kemp reelected countywide in an election that has been widely viewed as a referendum on smart growth management, as well as some of the other major planks of your platform from trails to transit and so many other important things. The voters spoke loud and clear in favor of reelecting you to continue on the direction you have always worked so hard for. And I am very much looking forward to working with you in carrying out that mandate. I'm also thrilled to welcome our new board members who are each bringing so much to our board. Commissioner Myers, you bring a wealth of experience from your years working in our county on some of our most important issues, including affordable housing and health care. And Commissioner Myers, you also carry with you a deep history of working in the community, of uh, volunteering in so many important ways, and, and you bring us a deep connection to your district. Uh, and I know I will be learning a lot from working with you about how best to serve our citizens in many ways. Commissioner Cohen, you bring a valuable perspective on the issues in the city of Tampa from your years on city council, along with your experience in the clerk's office here in the county as well as your legal experience as an attorney, which I know will come in very handy from time to time. All of that will serve us very well here, and I'm just thrilled at the uh, uh, looking forward to all the different things you all are bringing here, all the strengths uh, that you bring and perspectives. This is a challenging time in many ways. But I feel like our voters have sent in the A team to see us through the challenges ahead. And, and I thank all three of you for stepping up to serve our county. It's a lot of work, it's hard work, but you are the right people for the job and you're gonna love it. So welcome. Thank you, Commissioner Smith. I, I echo everything you said. <laughs> um, however, I have an opportunity to offer my own, my own comments. Um, as the commissioner for countywide District 7, or yeah, District 7, every once in a while, because we ran together, I, I, I'll bounce them back and forth. Um, I would like to offer, congratulate, beginning to offer congratulations to Commissioner Kemp on the commencement of your next new term. Well before I was elected two years ago, we spent many afternoons and evenings brainstorming on how to address the many challenges and opportunities our county faced given its rapid growth. Um, I was glad to join you in the effort to develop sustainable methods of managing our growth 
and building the infrastructure it takes to support our growing community. And I look forward to continuing that work and congratulations on winning an amazing race. And um, I'm so proud of your efforts and the hard work that you've done, not only to date, but look forward to working with you uh, as we move forward. I'd also like to congratulate Commissioners Cohen and Myers as they began their service to residents of Hillsborough County. I'm sure I speak uh, for, why, I'm sure I speak along with our colleagues when I say I look forward to working with you and serving this community. Commissioner Myers, you are my commissioner. I live in your district. So I look forward to addressing the many challenges that District 3 has and to find those opportunities to help the citizens and the businesses in the community thrive. Working on, on those projects will be a, a my pleasure to actually work on those things. Commissioner Cohen, um, we worked together on a bunch of projects over the years, and, and in many ways we've uh, accomplished a lot of things together prior to getting here, and I'm looking forward to seeing you shine and with all the expertise that you bring to this board. This board has crucial, important work this term. As a Commissioner Smith may agree, our first year in office was a huge learning experience. Uh, governing is quite different than all the other things we do before we get here. Um, but it was a great year and we accomplished much as the board and the character of the board changed somewhat. But during that year, the board worked together with our county staff to find sustainable solutions and to set goals to address our citizens' needs while responsibly managing this county's resources and assets given our rapid growth population. With a growing economy and new revenue for investing in our infrastructure, our future appeared quite bright. And it was very exciting, the workshops that we held. I would highly encourage both our new commissioners to go back and watch those if you haven't already. Um, we collaborated in ways that I had not seen this commission do in a long time. And so we were all pretty much on the same page about the great things and the great opportunities that we wanted to work on. But then things changed. As the pandemic hit and revenues became uncertain, our focus shifted to protecting our citizens and stabilizing our economy while addressing the population growth that continues and the cost of maintaining the services to our citizens. We have our work cut out for us. But I have confidence in this board, and I truly look forward to, the, to us take, putting our shoulders into it and getting it done, along with our county staff that will serve our citizens so well. I'm confident that together, we will make great strides and accomplish much for our constituents. And I congratulate all of you. Thank you so much for your efforts to get here and stay here, and I'm looking forward to working with all of you. And with that, I'd like to offer the opportunity for our county administrator, Bonnie Wise, to offer your remarks. Thank you. And I first would like to say a big congratulations to Commissioner Kemp, Commissioner Myers, and Commissioner Cohen. And a big congratulations to your families as well, because being a commissioner is a great sacrifice and it will take you away from your families from time to time. And I will be calling you a lot from time to time. And I know that. And I want to say um, thank you to you and to them for taking this on. It's a great responsibility. On behalf of the administration and the fine employees of Hillsborough County, I want to welcome you. Um, yes, we have some challenges ahead. We know that. We can look around this room and see some of the issues that we're all faced with. But some of these issues we were faced with even prior to the pandemic. But I know that as we harness the energy and the enthusiasm and the experiences that you all bring, that we will bring um, those issues to fruition. We will take them on head on and we will make great strides. I look forward very much to working with each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wise. And next, I'd like to offer our county attorney, Christine Beck, to offer your remarks. 
Yes, welcome back, Commissioner Kemp, and welcome, Commissioner Cohen, and welcome, Commissioner Myers. Um, the county attorney's office is here to support you and your initiatives in any way that we can and in a manner that is legally sound. Um, our office is comprised of a great team of professionals who have been working here. Most of them have great longevity and uh, have honed great expertise in local government law. And my entire office is excited to support you as you um, begin this next year. And again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Ms. Beck. I truly appreciate that. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite our colleagues who have just taken oath, the oath of office to say a few words, uh, going by district. Um, Commissioner Harry Cohen, who now re represents District 1. Thank you recognize. Thank you, thank you very much. Madam Vice Chair, I, I, I think that works. Uh, first of all, I want, I want to thank um, all of my family, friends, and current and former colleagues that, that joined us this morning. Because of the protocols, of course, they had to leave, and I wasn't able to let my parents know how much I appreciated their being here today and holding the Bible. And I also have to say it was a tremendous, tremendous honor for me to have Pat Frank in one of her last acts as clerk of the court swear me into this board, I met her for the first time when she was the chairman of the BOCC. And it was during similarly tough times. It was the area, the period right after 9-11. And um, many of the country and the community's priorities changed overnight on that day. And I think that similarly, we're living through a, a time, it hasn't been quite as abrupt as that was, but it's been as transformative and as challenging, if not more challenging. So what I really wanna say this morning is first thank you to the voters of Hillsborough County for allowing me and all of us the chance to serve. It is, it is a true honor and I know that all of us take it very, very seriously. I promise to work as hard as I can in this job and give it everything I've got. And more than anything, I think that that means trying to find common ground looking for common sense and creative solutions and listening and spending time really not just hearing what people say, but actively listening and trying to get the pulse of where the community is going. With 1.4 million people, we are a county of lots of diversity and that means diversity of opinion. And the seven of us are charged, I think, with figuring out where the consensus is and trying to move the community forward toward that. And I want you all to know that I'm gonna work every day with each and every one of you under the sunshine laws, of course, um, <laughs> to move our community forward and allow us to be the best that we can possibly be. I, I also wanna mention Ms. Beck and Ms. Wise, how much I'm looking forward to working with you and your staffs and um, how glad I am to be here today and, and look forward to the months and years ahead. So thank you all. Thank you, Commissioner Cohen. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to say that. that is, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Now, next on uh, the program is Commissioner Glenn Myers of District 3. You're recognized. Thank you, Madam Vice Chairman. I just don't know what to say today. But I give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ for allowing me this opportunity to come back as a former county employee with 25 years of service here in this building and today to be sworn in as a county commissioner. I just say thank you, Lord. Is a vision realized when I said this on December 20th, 2013, my last work day in this building that I was going to run for a county seat and told then County Administrator Mike Mayer, I probably will return and be your boss. <laughs> but I'm happy to have the opportunity to work with County Administrator Bonnie Wise and my elevator friend, as I call, <laughs> County Attorney Christine Beck. We rode the elevator a number of years and just would chat. And so today is a historical day for me to be the first black county employee 
and return as a county commissioner. I just say thank you. To my mother, to my mother, every day you give me words of wisdom. Every day you give me words of wisdom. But you say to my sisters and me, know who you're serving. You're serving God and not man. And thank you for your encouraging words. To my husband, who's one in a million to me, you are the wind beneath my wings. I'm thankful to God that he introduced me to you 37 years ago. And thank you for always supporting me to run whatever things I want to do, running for county commissioner. Every day I came in from campaigning, how was your day, honey? Just being supportive. I love you and just thank you for being you. Now, this is why I ran for this office. I'm reminded that I plan to lead with improving our transportation. If the Florida Supreme Court does not rule in the county's favor, I plan to bring back that 1% sales tax that was voted on by 57% of the voters in 2018 back to this board for a referendum to be on the ballot in 2022. I want the citizens of District 3 to know that I want to see District 3 prosper like other districts of the county with good paying jobs, improving transportation, affordable housing, health care, a safe and walkable communities, and that CXX freight rails be converted to commuter rails to serve the people. It is about the people in District 3. And I will bring, be bringing a new item to this board in December or January, an apprentice program. Many people in District 3 are always looking for a job. And as I had the opportunity to talk with many department directors, I shared that in our meetings. As I close, I'd like to thank my family, my sisters, who gave me their unconditional love during this campaign, was with me day in and day out. I guess we would say we was the fearsome five on this campaign trail. <laughs> we accomplished a goal that I set out to do. And I thank the citizens of District 3 for giving me this opportunity to begin my service as a county commissioner. But lastly, I look forward to working with this board. We have tremendous ideas. There's so much of infrastructure, construction projects, affordable housing, health care, and we must be ready to lead through this COVID-19. We have to be ready. We know it's spiking. And we're going to make the best decisions for the citizens of Hillsborough County. And to all the county employees, I'm going to be your champion because I have been on the other side to see. And so as we discuss things for this board, how we can always lift our county employees up so that the morale would stay high and you would want to come to work because Hillsborough County government is the best place to work in the state of Florida. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Um, I, I'm so excited about, about uh, each of our newly elected commissioners joining this mix of passionate human beings that are looking for uh, an opportunity to serve our citizens well. And with that, uh, I'd like to respect and recognize Commissioner Pat Kemp, who represents Countywide District 6. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll um, start by welcoming both, um, and I love it too, Commissioner Cohen, Commissioner Myers to the board. And because I didn't get to say a, a few remarks, I have um, known Commissioner Cohen for 
some decades, I think. Um, and so we have a long um, relationship uh, that goes back in, in many ways. And I know that there are so many great qualities about you, Commissioner Cohen. And, and one, I think, is um, actually that will do us well that we don't normally think about, but just your um, kindness and, um, and generosity with others. And I think that that's always um, something that every group can use. So I, I appreciate that. I'm also um, on the hard skills. Uh, I know I've served on the uh, MPO with you, but also I think it's really, um, as uh, having been the only lawyer on the board for a time, um, I'm re I think it's a really great skill to have and to know and to be able to apply to a lot. Um, I didn't expect to use it so much when I uh, first became a commissioner. So I think that that will be uh, a great addition and uh, very much appreciate um, the, um, the bar that you have for the future. I, I feel like everybody has a high bar, um, a vision, and uh, I think that it's going to be very, very good. Um, Commissioner Myers, I just, I have to tell you, there is, I don't know that there's anyone as hardworking as I have seen you be. Um, yesterday, when um, Commissioner Merman was leaving, I said to her, countywide, I'd gone to all these events for four years, and if I saw one other commissioner there, it was, it was Commissioner Merman. But as ironic as this may seem, the same is true, even longer with Commissioner Myers. I first met Commissioner Myers when she was campaigning and I was campaigning in 2016. And I would go to events and she would introduce herself and she said, I'm, I'm, I'm campaigning for District 3. And I would say, well, that's Les Miller's district. And she said, well, I'm doing it for 2020. And I was like, what? <laughs> I never heard of such a thing, but you have this, um, you are, uh, you worked as hard as I've ever seen anyone work, but you also have this depth of incredible experience here with the county in every area, as was said, um, everything from affordable housing to healthcare, but also, you know, I even talked to you about the um, water and wastewater systems that you worked on for uh, a time, I think, in University Area or Progress Village. You've worked all over. Um, District 3, and I think we're going to learn um, so much, uh, and you're going to bring so much to, to the commission. So I, I thank you both, and I'm really looking forward to serving with you. Um, of course, our first challenge is COVID, and right now, as we all know, we're facing a devastating virus, and everyone is anxious to turn a corner. Um, hopefully, we can come through this with as little loss as possible and supporting one another as we rebuild our, our lives, our businesses, our jobs, our communities um, in this new year. It, I know for all the pain it's caused, it can't come soon enough to turn a corner. Um, I'm really finding it hard to believe that four years have passed and truly um, much has changed in the four years that I've been here. Uh, four of the seven commissioners are here for two years or less um, I have four years, Commissioner White has six years, and we're not sure about Commissioner Hagan anymore. I think he's entry predated record keeping. <laughs> I feel like it's my role to take this on, Commissioner Hagan, since there's no one else that is here to do it now. <laughs> um, also, for the first time in a decade, we have a new county administrator, Bonnie Wise, and our county attorney, Christine Beck, is relatively speaking fairly new. Um, so we have a very, very fresh new team in here. Um, and we have an opportunity, and I hope we take it, to take a deep breath and look closely at everything we've been doing for decades and consider carefully if we're making the best choices and decisions for a prosperous and sustainable future. One that makes for a great quality of life and for building a sense of place and community throughout Hillsborough County. It's especially important because outside of our three cities of Tampa, Temple Terrace, and Plant City, we're having close to 900,000 people in large areas without town centers and too much of it without the simple neighborhood places that we all love and enjoy. Great walkable communities are what many people, both young and old, um, seem to be looking for, but which is in short supply in Hillsborough County. My hope is that this board will be able to work together with the priorities we all seem to share and by that I'm not meaning to speak for anyone that's not on the same page. 
But we all seem to want to make Hillsborough County a great place to live, with great schools, with clean air, clean water, wonderful parks and protected areas. I think we also all support a robust affordable housing program, more good paying jobs, trails, safe routes to schools, and greater mobility, roads, transit, bikes, ferries, rail. In short, a greater opportunity and a better quality of life for us all. It also seems that many of the citizens of Hillsborough County, the residents of Hillsborough County are waiting for a better transit system. Um, as I've said too many times before, we are the most underfunded transit system in the nation for a metro area of this size, not by a little bit, but by a huge amount, crisis proportions. So I'm anxious to um, move on that. I hope we can restart our ferry system, which moved thousands of people each day throughout the region prior to the 1960s. And I wanna see us convert our CSX commuter track that we even barely use for freight right now to move people from USF to Ebor to downtown to South Tampa and to McDill. Those tracks already today go through all those areas and are connected. I'm also excited about redevelopment and putting in water and wastewater to serve more than 60,000 homes, which I cannot believe that there are 60,000 homes in our urban service area for residents that are still on well and septic. This will allow for robust business and residential development to take place and really use uh, our resources well. Finally, I think we're probably on the same page in building a renewable, sustainable future. We now have a $5 million fund and we put solar panels on many libraries and fire stations and some other buildings throughout the county. We need to keep paneling the roofs. In fact, every time I'm up in a building and I look and I see a roof without panels, I'm like, oh, panel it, come on. <laughs> let's, let's use that roof. Um, and it's also saving taxpayer dollars. Also, the county has sponsored, and I'd like you to know this, the SUN program, Solar United Neighbors, a nonprofit community solar rooftop program in Hillsborough County. And in 2018, we had the largest kickoff here in Hillsborough County in the entire nation because people were so hungry to uh, do rooftop solar on their homes. Um, we also have the SELF program, the Solar and Energy Loan Fund, a county a sponsored program, another not-for-profit with a bank that helps low-income and credit-challenged homeowners to get new energy-efficient appliances, HVAC, roofing or solar panels, among other things. It's a really bright future. I'm glad to be here at the dais today and with each one of you to share this future. I'm looking forward to this board and everyone in Hillsborough County having an opportunity to lean into it and together to build a more prosperous, sustainable, great future for Hillsborough County. Thank you, Commissioner Kemp. That was absolutely wonderful. I think I caught everybody. So um, I would love to thank everyone for joining us for the 2020 Investiture Ceremony of Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners. I also want to make note that this new Board of County Commissioners will reconvene at 11 a.m. today for our organizational meeting. And with that, I want to thank everyone for attending. I'm excited to get to work, and we'll begin that work in 55 minutes. <laughs> uh, see you then. Thank you so much for attending. <laughs>